Hey there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft with your Shuli the Hermit Hood. We're continuing working on this mechanization data pack. Um, today we're going to do something a little bit different. You see there's some stuff and changes, some uh, little bit of changes around here. I decided to stuff a melon and pumpkin farm in around here. Uh, mainly just for a food source. Um, pumpkin pie is my favorite food in Minecraft because it is, next to steak, it is the uh, next best fulfilling food that you can eat in the game. Um, last episode, I said we were going to work on a kelp farm. Well, I'm going to have to work on setting up the framework of that off camera, and that's going to take a little bit more work than necessary. Um, I tore down all of the uh, sugarcane stuff. I think we're going to do that instead. Not today, though. Not today. Not today. All right. What I want to do, guys, is I want to focus on this mechanization stuff and getting it going and having some fun with it, you know, just getting this stuff up and running so that whenever we do head back home, we have some fun with it. I found something today, though. I found something today, and I think you guys might enjoy this. Because I've been doing a lot of mining and a lot of grinding, and... Well, let's look into this, shall we? Um, I don't have my book on me. We're going to go ahead and put my helmet back on. You can see I already got some pumpkin pie. Got some cooked mutton. Oh, yeah. All right. So, let's go ahead. Let's get today's episode started, guys. So, inside the book, which I have up here, you, what do you guys see how much material I got? Oh, my goodness. I spent almost dude, the entire night just mining away. I swear, I must have put, like, we got another uranium ore, by the way. Um, lots more diamonds than this. I got some. I got, I left a little bit down here. And, yeah. And I also got a new diamond pickaxe. I ran all the way back home to enchant myself a brand new diamond pickaxe. Because I was over here fishing. And I found, I got a mending book. I got a mending book, and it had a fish, it had a mending efficiency four. It had curse of binding, but I went into NBT Explorer and ripped that tag off of it because I didn't want that on there. Um, yeah, it was probably cheaty, but we do got a little bit more right here. We got our thing off of this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some stuff and things away. Whoops! I needed those chests so I could empty my inventory. Where did they just disappear to? Hello, Mr. Chest. Oh, here we are. Okay. Thought I put those away there for a second. Alright, so we're just going to take all of this stone and we're going to put it away. I was being a noob, guys. I was being a noob. I was sitting over here with all those furnaces trying to smell this stuff. And I didn't think twice about this. About our electric furnace right here. Why didn't I just automate that with by making a few of those and <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, and I'm going to fix that. I think I'm going to set up an automated area for that, not down here, but uh, more or less over behind this where we were getting attacked back before. I'm going to set this up next for next episode so that I'll. A lot of, all of our cobblestone is being done, but today we have to go to the nether, and I'm going to show you guys why. Okay, so let's open it up. Uh-oh. All right, so today we're going to go ahead and crack the, uh, crack open the biogenerator. And now, those blocks, I couldn't make sense as to how that thing was made until I got a good look in the light. And if you look at that, that is nether brick, okay, and a hopper. Well, that's not bad. We can make we can make nether bricks. So I went on ahead and I slapped up a portal. Um, I cheaped out on it. It's ten blocks of, cause I really didn't want that portal to be well right there. Um, it could be moved at a later time, but for right now it's just sitting right there beside our crops. Um, for right now it can be right there. Let's open this up. So we need to go into the nether and we need to get this. Today we're gonna build the bio generator. Um, stop it. All right. Um, we could use 
red and brown mushrooms. We could use melon blocks. Hence, we got the melon block farm. And we do got something that has silk touch on it. But this thing also has mending. Now, what I do not have mending on, I didn't think about, was my shovel. Yeah, this has mending silk touch on it, okay? So, we could essentially just come by here and say, eh, okay, I want this melon. And we're going to plant it. And we want another one. Alright, we want to plant it. But I need, a, I need one more melon, guys. Now, fortune also works on melons so if i ever get a fortune pickaxe i can get myself another one of these all right let's plant this thing let it grow that way this thing doesn't accidentally grow where it shouldn't be and now we can go right on ahead and harvest these things up and we could use these in the bio generator and maybe 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 there will be another way we could harvest these at some time. But we, don't, we really don't need silk touch for that, okay? All it needs is nine, so it shouldn't take too much just to harvest these things. These right here, they're just going to be used for making pumpkin pie because, like I said, it's my favorite food in the game, and I absolutely love it. We got plenty of sugar cane for that, and we got lots and lots of chickens providing us the eggs to make our most delicious yummy food ever. So there we go. All right, let me go ahead. I'm going to, where, where did I put my axe anyways? Right here. So let's go ahead. Let's get some pumpkins. Let's make ourselves some more pumpkin pie. And let's head off to the nether, guys. And there we go. All we need is some pumpkin. We need yourself a wee bit of sugar. One, two, three, four, five, six. There it goes. Get ourselves six sugar, just like a so. We get ourselves six eggs. Then again, I could probably just hop inside that pen and get them. But I'm a bit lazy. All right, so we get ourselves our sugar, our eggs, and our things. And bada bang, bada boom, bye bye. All right, yeah, I love my eggs. So yeah, all of this cobblestone, I can finally start to cook it. Which means we don't have to look at that ugly texture no more. So we could fix that up. <laughs> um, we also got some crops over here growing. A couple of things at rhubarb. Um, yeah. All right. Let's get into the nether and let's get this going, guys. Because I'm sure you guys want to see those plants going. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, my God. Whoa, 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 whoa. Could you get me a more dangerous spot? Um, what is with this nether generation? All right, all we need is just nether rack. And not only that, but it appears as if we need nether rack for the, uh, for a few other things as well. Part of me, I know it's a little bit laggy, but uh, as I hammer away at some of this stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to gather some of this up, guys. I'm going to fix my platform over there because it's a little bit of a disaster. And I'm going to head back home. And yeah, how are we doing? Almost four stacks. Yeah, I want to get like four stacks of this, fix up my portal, and I'll meet up with you guys back home. Alright guys, I'm back home, and I got some nether rack up there cooking. Got my pickaxe in my hand so that we could get some XP for it to heal it up some. Alright, so the second thing that we need to work on is those crystals, okay? You see, oh, that's a, uh, that's the other one. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> we need to build ourselves that, uh, we need a hopper, and we need... We already have the gold, the gold ingots, so we need four of each of those, two, four conductive ingots, and we also need one of those. Okay, so that should be easy for us. What is that? That's uh, four, what is that? Structural ingots and five steel. Okay, we can do that. Four structural, no, five 
Well, it's like five blue. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. And some of these. What is that again? Uh, lost, my train. lost my train of thought. Okay. So it is... One, two, three, four, five of those. All right, and four of these. And now we need eight red pieces of glass. Yeah, we could do that. We got plenty of glass. We got that right here. Ha ha. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, baby. All right, and let's go get some of that beetroot. That stuff seems to work out quite well for making red glass, baby. You know what? We should probably make a couple of those because we're going to be doing that. Yeah, let's do, let's do that. Let's make 16 of those because we need two machine frames for today, guys. Because we're going to be making something else also. Something that doubles our ores. All right. Um, four, five. And one, two, three, four. And let's start putting this thing together. All right, so we need... Five of these, pull this out, put ten in there. Oops. Alright, and this needs to be turned red. So we need to turn this into that, and we need a little bit more red glass. Alright, let's see here. Just do one of these. That should give us more than enough. That is a shovel. There we go. Alright. Now, let's take this. That's weird. Do these things stack? No. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's shove this up here. Now we no longer have to use this for that. And I'm going to show you guys why here in just a bit. All right. Got ourselves a little bit of XP for that. Sorry about the noise of the machine. All right. So how are we doing? We need 12 of those, right? All right. We need 16 to be honest. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and make ourselves a hopper. Go down below and grab ourselves a chat, a uh, one of these. Where did I put those at? A furnace. All right, grab our furnace. We need a hopper. I thought I had a whole bunch of those. Is this thing done? No, but we can turn this into something. You can see I got more glass on the backlog there. Let's go ahead and do something with this real quick. Boom, boom, there we go. Got some more kelp. I got some growing in my backyard here, so we're okay. <laughs> well, not literally in my backyard, but figuratively right over here. I just go over there and harvest it once in a while. But we grabbed that furnace. Yes, we did. All right. Let's open this up. Let's put this thing inside of here. Let's put this right here. All right. And we need four machine blocks. I mean, not four machine blocks. We need one, two, three, four. And the reason I made all of this conductive stuff, guys, is so that we can start to upgrade this stuff to tier two. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we need that nether brick and the hopper. All right, so the hopper, that should be easy. Where did I put that stuff at? Let's see here. All right, iron. Oh, I got iron for days. I got iron for days. That should be easy. All right, Um, I don't have any wood up here. Let's go grab that. And while we're at it, do we need anything for the grinder? Just the obsidian. Okay, we used it all, so we might have to go down there and get that. Okay. 
What about those crystals? Ooh, uh-oh. Do we got emeralds? All right, we'll deal with those crystals together. All right, let's focus on this thing right here. We just need a hopper. All right, let's get... All right, this ought to work just fine. Which means we can start to tear out all these old furnaces. We no longer need the things. You know, we don't need this. Let's... Come on, get down here. And shove this thing inside of there. There it goes. What is that? That's jungle wood, right? Yeah, that's jungle wood. All right, that's oak. Toss that in there. Give me a piece of this jungle wood. Shove that in that door in the window right there. There we go. Right, just like that. Smack. Oh yeah. All right. We need that. We need one of these and one of them, just like so. There we go. So we got our hopper. Go put this inside of it. All right. All we need now is that nether brick. Come on. Please be done. Yes. And we got exactly 16. And there it is. The bio generator. Creates power from biomaterial. Output based on variety and material present. Cool. Oh, 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 yeah. All right, we're going to set this thing down in just a moment, guys. Just a moment. Let's take ourselves a nap here real quick. Get rid of this sunlight. Mm, yeah, let's do that. Take a sippy sip of some coffee. Oh, man, I got to refill my cup. All right, well, well, we'll just enjoy the last sip. I gotta make more coffee, guys. But I'm almost out. I'm almost out, man. I gotta call my dad. I gotta get a ride to the store. I gotta get a ride to the store. Oh my gosh. Okay, where do, where are we gonna put this thing at? Where are we gonna put this thing, guys? If it's a biogenerator and it uses melons and we wanna do an automated farm of sorts. Well, let's read up on this real quick, all right? It uses melon fruit, nether wart, and chorus flower, potatoes, carrots, wheat, and pumpkins. Ah, right, so we got pumpkins. You know what? Those me those pumpkins are going to be my food. I ain't giving you my food, you cray-cray. All right, so we can feed it. Hopefully, we can feed it with a uh, hopper. If we can auto-feed this with a hopper, guys, that would be nice. Um, all we gotta do is just load all the junk that we uh, get, like beetroot and stuff, things like that. Just load it all up in there. <laughs> that would be nice. So, where are we gonna load this thing at? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna stuff it up here with the other generators. I don't see why not. No, 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 no. Should we? Or should we put it up here? No, this isn't done yet. Um, no, let's put it down here, like, uh, I'll say right between the two gardens. Okay, let's put it maybe right here. Boing. All right, let's take a look at this interface. Not bad. All right, so is there a specific way to feed this? Here, give me this. No, give me one. Give me one. Give me one of these. Eh. Alright, let's see. Well, that was, uh... That was, uh, interesting. <laughs> okay, so my biggest question is, is can you feed it with a chest and a hopper? Okay, can you feed it with a chest and a hopper? All right, so let's do that. Let's try this. One, two, three, four. All right, because we're, we're going to need to try this one out. All right, let's go ahead. Let's grab this. Let's make ourselves a hop. Well, make... Come on, work with me here, work with me, work with me. There you go. All right, click on redstone, go to hopper, bada bing. I just need one. Thank you very much. 
And we got our hopper. We got our chest. All right. So here's what I'm most curious about, guys. Here's what I am most curious about, okay? If we take this, shove it onto the side, all right? Take this thing, plop it right there, and we, let's see here, let's see here, let's see here. All right, so we can't, you, can we use beetroot seeds, all right? Um, you can use cocoa beans, sugar cane, melons, beetroot, potatoes, carrot, wheats, and pumpkins, melon blocks, netherwort, chorus fruit, red and brown mushrooms, and chorus flower. All right, so what do we have a lot of? Well, we got this. Um, what the heck? Give me this. Hey, I got some kelp in here. Give me that. Put that in there. Get cooking. Um, we got some carrots. We can shove that in there. We got some cocoa beans. Uh, we'll keep a little bit of them. All right, let's see if we can feed this thing with a hopper. Okay, guys, let's see if we can feed it with a hopper. Boom, 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 boom. And you can. You can feed it with a hopper in a chest. Oh, that's so cool. All right, so if you automate a farm... You could have it automated, automatically fill up a chest, feed into a chest, then into the biogenerator, and it'll automatically provide you power without you having to uh, continually do your thing. So you can have yourself a green farm with either solar or the power of crops. That's not half bad. And with the way we can automate farms in Minecraft today, that should work out pretty cool. I like that idea. I like that idea. Uh, can you give me a, give me my damn sugar cane back, please? <laughs> I need a farm of this. I really don't want to waste it. I want to create an auto. If we can create an automated sugar cane farm, guys, I think we could uh, fill that up nice and good. But as far as this part goes, oh yeah, pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie, oh yeah, pumpkin pie, oh yeah. Alright, so this other machine that I was telling you guys about, this grinder, alright? Ores convert to two ingots and logs convert to six planks. Also can process certain mobs drops such as blaze rods and bones. One upgraded further increases yields, okay? Now, we need to figure out how to cr craft these crystals. That's two diamonds, two emeralds, and 16 redstone. Okay. Let's go make one of these power crystals, guys. Let's go make a power crystal. Hold that thought. Where's my loose diamonds? I just had loose diamonds. Did I forget to bring them up here? I guess I did. Hey, get up there. Give me that, that, that. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Let's make some power crystals, guys. Let's make some. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alloy furnace for the go. One, two. All right. All right. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh huh. All right. So you need two diamonds. All right. And we needed how many? Two. Okay, so let's see here. We need a four. All right. Four emeralds. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. That's going to have to wait till next episode. We got to run back home, guys. We got to wait and run back home. All our emeralds are at home. <laughs> did we not grab those? Or did we completely forget those? We completely forgot them. We completely forgot them. What the heck is that noise? I 
here we go. We can just take these 19 cocoa beans and these taters and shove them in through here like this. Bing, bing. And we can set up an automatic furnace generator over here as well. Well, auto smelter pretty much. And remember, it's got to be within 16 blocks. But if that battery's, that battery's full. That battery's full. Hmm. Can we upgrade that battery? Can we do that today? Can we upgrade the battery? All right, that's highly coveted machine upgrade makes existing machines better. In most cases, the machine becomes faster or uses less energy, but some machines unlock new abilities. Okay, a quantum battery, a tier 3 battery, all right, a tier 2 battery. That requires a lot of black wool. You know what? Do we got squid out there? Do you guys see squid? Or is the world covered in fishies? Hey, I'm taking up my mob cat. Oh, I see squid. All right, let's do this. Hey, Mr. Squiddy. What in the world did... What was that? Okay. All right, we're drowning. And we just got some type of head. Ouch. 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 We did. We just got some type of petrified cod head. <laughs> Petrified Godhead. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this, guys. A Petrified Godhead. Get me some, get some food in my belly real quick. All right. All right. Let's take a look at this. All right. Let's pull my head. Let's get my shut the stupid book off. Let's get this helmet off my head. Here's what I usually look like, especially with my helmet off. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's put this helmet on my head. <laughs> blah 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 blah. This should this should come with abilities, you know. You put this thing on your head, you should be able to go swimming for a little bit longer. Have like aqua affinity or something. <laughs> Thank you, Hermitcraft, for this. This is awesome. All right, guys, take care. Have yourself a wonderful day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.